currently about 5.30 a.m. Time to get camp packed down and get over to Mesa Verde National Park. See you on the road. I'm kind of feeding out for some smackies, so we're going to grab a coffee and a sausage biscuit. Only a small detour, and we aren't going to really have anything else before we get to uh, some place in BFE, Utah, like an hour and a half away. So, going with smackies. Might should get some gas too while we're at it. Yes, please. Awesome, thank you. Have a good one. Thanks. Uh, so it turns out we missed the uh, turn for the visitor center, I guess. So uh, we're just gonna keep on going and see the views, then go back in a bit on our way out. That's what I was wondering when you were saying that. Park Point Fire Lookout Tower. Highest point in Mesa Verde. You already know we're going up here. Dang, this doesn't even look real, Maddie. It's crazy. There is a lookout back that way, but we are gonna go over to this one first. That's crazy. Over there is what I picture like Sweden or something to look like, or Iceland. You know? That's crazy. We are here and keep going and get down to the Yucca house. But check out these overlooks first. So I can't get over that stuff right there. I don't know why, but those rolling hills with the road. That's Holy true. crap, that big rock yeah. right in the middle. That's New Mexico. Mm -hmm. That's insane. Ship Rock is 45 miles from Park Point. <laughs> 45 miles, and you can see it plain as day back that way. All right, back to the car and continuing on with the drive. This place is insane. This is gonna be bust and bust. Thank you. 
Time to add some ice, pack this up, and keep on driving. They've got us some energy teas made to give us a little boost we need, and we are on our way, heading to the back of the park. Let's see what else we can find. This has been such a pretty drive, it is not at all what I expected. This is just crazy. We have, jeez. Yeah, I am glad we got here when we did, cause uh, neither of us realized it was gonna be this much driving. I think from when we came through at the check-in, it was about 23 miles to the back of the park and the actual cliff dwellings. So we just passed a sign that in 2002, a fire came through and took out a lot of this stuff called the Lone Mesa Fire. Crazy after 21 years, like no trees have grown back. They're still charred. Yeah, still charred. It's insane. We passed another area not long before that was from like 96, but it had a little more stuff growing back and not quite as big of a fire, but good grief, yeah. Hmm, it goes way back there too. I'm gonna go see the museum in Spruce Treehouse first, then I'm gonna come back and go that way. We'll do the museum and the treehouse, and then we'll go back, and there's one way that way and one way this way. Okay, so these weren't the loops. So. I didn't really record much in the museum. I feel like it's kind of a place that you're not really supposed to do much recording in. So we just enjoyed it and walked around, read all the little displays, looked at all the little artifacts they had in there. Now we are heading to some cliff dwellings. Don't think we'll be able to go all the way up to them because we didn't get a uh, tour, but We'll at least walk down and observe them from the best overlook that we can. So, ah, the gate is open. Ah. It is looking like Maddie and I are going to be able to get a little bit closer than what we thought. So I guess the trail to the cliff dwellings, that is what's closed when we pass on the way down and I did not realize it. Maddie did, however, so she knows where we're going and we are headed to some petroglyphs. Time to see these ancient drawings. Are they considered ancient? 750-ish years old or so, so I mean, it's, it's getting there. So we started up there. Did some switchbacks down, hit dirt at the bottom, did some switchbacks up, and now this is where we're at. Whoa. Not quite sure how long till the petroglyphs, but we really aren't prepared for a hike. It's not really not prepared, just not up for it. We've been doing a lot of hiking the past few days. Didn't really plan on doing much today. So I'm gonna head back up to the little center thing up there to the car drive around and see if we can see some petroglyphs or cliff dwellings from the car on a drive. Surely we can. On to the Mesa top loop, off to the right.
Oh, look at that little chamber over there. Also, most of the time we would be riding with the windows down. However, all these stops are literally like a quarter mile apart, maybe. Yeah, not gonna complain about that though. We travel with the windows down on the way in, gonna do the same on the way out. But for now, they shall remain up. Oh my god. There's remnants of some over there, you see? Uh-huh. Yeah, you can see one up in the rocks by that white oh, stuff. Yeah. And just below it. Yeah. You can't even see him. So there's two more on this road? Yep. You said what? Hey. Oh my gosh, there are a lot of people down there. That's a tour of A tour would be very cool, but the driving around that we have done and stopping at all the overlooks has been more than worth it. I am definitely glad we stopped here. have one more loop to do and we are both starving. Uh, I think Durango is around an hour from the park entrance so hey, don't know if we can make it to there. Supposed to have dinner in South Fork so might just grab a snack in Durango but I don't even know at this point.
are in sort of tight and close. That is part of it. This is good. Thank you for not eating Map needs to be updated. Was it parking up there that you saw? <sighs> Maddie made me park in the back, and there is all kinds of parking up here. What was that? It turns out there's not a parking to the balcony house overlook thing. It was a little parking area back there that had a 1.2 mile trail that led to an overlook that saw it, but neither of us are filling that right now. And we have about a two hour, 40 minute drive from the park entrance over to South Fork, Colorado, which is where we'll be camping tonight. Also have about a 20 mile drive out of here and we're gonna stop at the visitor center on the way out. We're both starving as well. Probably should get a little bit of gas. Oh, we are gonna see what we can make happen. Time for some food, we are both starving. You're welcome. Whew, stomachs are happy and all filled up. Time to get out to the campsite. This campsite, get ready for these views. This is insane. Maybe, just maybe the prettiest campsite I have ever camped at. What the heck? Oh my gosh. Surrounded by all these Aspen, Quakies, whatever you wanna call them. Holy sh... This is a good way to round off our trip camping here. Oh my gosh. All right, well, we made sure there weren't any burn bans or fire restrictions in the area, so I'm gonna go ahead. Got a fire pit right there. Uh, I'm gonna get the tent popped up, get our chairs unloaded and unfolded, get a fire made, and enjoy the rest of the evening. What time is it, Maddie? It is 6.28. We have been on the go since just before six, I believe. Gonna get this unpacked, everything unloaded, tent popped up. 
See you on a bit. shouldn't be much after 6 30 maybe like 6 30 6 45 ish let's go ahead and uh get a fire made Could be all there is to it. I'm gonna give that just a second, as y'all have seen in the past. That fire starter is all reliable and gets the job done quickly. So, gonna enjoy these views. Maddie's enjoying a nice book. And yeah, hopefully that gets going here in the next minute or so. sitting right here relaxed just enjoying these majestic views and uh, I think buddy down there is doing the same getting him a last minute grazing with the sunset uh, very very majestic I would definitely say yep I agree it's, it's very beautiful that's exactly what I was about to say and uh, he beat me to it I think it's gonna be very hard to top this campsite anytime soon and match it yeah, I think Maddie and I are going to sit here and enjoy the fire for a little bit longer. It's currently about 7 p.m. The sun should be setting in the next 45 minutes or so. Probably will stay up and uh, let all the wood we have burn. At least I will. She might go to bed a little earlier. But uh, yeah, just going to enjoy it, hang out. Tomorrow we're going to get up probably around 5-ish and head over to the Great Sand Dunes National Park. Got about a two and a half hour drive there. From there, we are going to head home and it's about 11 hours and 48 minutes to be precise so got about a 12 13 hour drive after stops and everything and then we do lose an hour so we'll be jumping ahead um yeah this i would say is a fantastic way to end our last night on our national parks road trip yeah i know we're both tired and we are missing our doggos they are gonna go absolutely insane once we get them from my parents so yeah, ready to get them back, but definitely gonna miss these views. Anyways, gonna hang out here for a bit, enjoy the fire, and I'll see y'all in a bit. So uh, we decided on a uh, name for the cow friend we made earlier, and his name's Stanley. And Stanley decided, since we're showing such nice hospitality, that he would go ahead and go grab some friends. Stanley's right there. Do you see that? Deer in the back? Yeah. Then I got some deer coming to party. And then, uh. Look, there's more. Yeah, some more cattle. So, uh. <laughs> like, What's up? Yeah. I guess we're just having a party here tonight. Anyway, still just uh, enjoying the sunset. These freaking colors are crazy. Also, had a little friend pull up in a van down there. But, uh. Yeah, we can share with her. There's plenty of space. They're gonna come up here. Huh. Ugh. <sighs> 
Got the fire put out. We're about to get rounded up for bed. It's about 8.45. Guess Maddie's gonna actually read for a bit. I'm probably just gonna lay here and kind of look at the stars. Maybe look on my phone a little bit and talk back and forth with Stanley because uh, as y'all heard, he's still out there. But uh, yeah, gonna lay here and enjoy this for a bit and get up tomorrow probably five-ish and hopefully head to Great Sand Dunes National Park by about 5.30, 5.45-ish. Ah. All right, that was bringing reinforcements. So I'm finishing up editing the video and the one thing I did not do is film an outro. So here we are. If you're still around, thank you so much for watching. Got one more video left in the National Parks Road Trip series. Going over to the Great Sand Dunes National Park gonna be bussin'. Have a great rest of the day. Till next time, peace.